Greetings OCTV family, yours truly Damian Sogren in your company for another Carnival Rewind and today I'm going to be taking you to the beautiful island of Barbados. Barbados as you know has a wonderful event each and every year, it's called Crop Over and this annual festival it brings a lot of fun, festivity, parties, excitement and culture. So it's only appropriate that we start off with something cultural and that is the pick or the crop where you'll experience some traditional calypso. Let's go! Here we are, Chessington Oval, the place to be for the action. Pick it in Crop 2019, one of definitely Crop Over's best events because thousands come out for this event to see who's going to walk away the winner. Now, right now, men and women, 18 contestants, in fact, are going to take to this stage, and we're going to go right there right now to take in some of the action. <laughs> Hey, indeed, pick it a crop. Heating up competition is very, very fierce. Now, what the 18 competitors are vying for is either a truck, a brand new Nissan X Trail, or they have the option of choosing $100,000 Barbados cash. One such person who has made a name over the past few decades uh, for social commentary a calypsonian by the name of classic his wit his lyrics his innuendo his biting tongue his response is legendary of course it's a classic in this uh, arena pick of the crop competition classic came with it and he brought the heat with a song called one song let's go to the stage to take a look you can tell them fuck you Next time, I'm money talks And a lot of wanna sing it for free So I carry it out in front of you For the mother country One song that I want One song I must get She like a copy, but all your lyrics All in one basket Well, if it's a one song that you want One song you will hear for people singing, not for the bringer, one song ever hear. Yes. Come me look me there, and the carol, and the carol, I think make the one song. Caribbean performers make their way to crop over each and every year and OCTV of course gets up close and personal with some of the very best so let's check that out hey it's your girl CC I'm here with Patrice Drake from sweet sweet TNT and I gotta say we go way back way back right Way back, way, way, way back. Not that way back, no, no, because yeah, we're both. We, we, we're both. It seems like we're too old, right? But no, we no, 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 no. We go way back there. <laughs> but I mean, I've watched your 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 progress over the years, and I mean, you've you've developed into not only a wonderful woman, but a so-called artist. 
on her own right. How does it feel to actually reach this level of your career? I feel so, I mean, amazing because, I mean, nobody knows my struggle. I know how far and how much how much practice and how much sacrifices I made, you know, to be here. It was not easy. I was nervous. I was scared. I took a risk, and I'm here today. <laughs> But you know what they say, big risk means big rewards. So you're now reaping all that hard work and those yeah. risks. So let, let the people know we're obviously here at Rise, Kesik Global in Barbados. Yeah. And I know Barbados, you're here all the time. So what's so special about Crop Over in Barbados? My fans, I mean, come on. From the moment I walk on stage, you will see. Bajans, I mean, I have fans all around the world. But Bajans, they have a special place in their heart for me. I love, I feel like home away from home when I'm here, you know? The vibe of the people, the way how they party, it's like, I feel like back in the day, it's like they nev nothing never changed. As opposed to everybody has been commercial, having the cameras on, Bajans are so authentic, and it's so always amazing to perform for them. All right, so when you go on the stage, what, I mean, what comes, I mean, it's just amazing what comes out of you, like, where does that come from? From the energy of the people. From the moment they scream my name, the energy just outbursts. I love, I love to, to entertain. It's something I love to do with shows, and I love to entertain my fans, because I know people, especially females, we come from so many hardships, so many internal issues we deal with, so many things we deal at home. Sometimes you're going away from a problem, and yeah. we need party to just take away that stress away. So I, I tend to just give them all my energy. All the energy coming at you, Rise, Barbados on the stage. Patrice Strick from Sweet Sweet TNT in Barbados for Crop Over is coming at you. Carnival Week 1 Caribbean Television. We don't go that way back, way back, but like, we're still young. We're still young and, and, and fit and fabulous moms, okay? That's what it is all about, of course. So thank you so much, Patrice. Thank you very much. It's raining, but it doesn't really matter because it's Crop Over, it's Carnival, it's Barbados, it's Soka Music, and we've got the Viking himself, Mr. Bungie Garland. How are you doing? Hey, greetings. All is well, all is good, all is good. All right, so I've, I've, I mean, I've been following your career for a long, long, long time now, and how do you feel as an artist you've changed over the past, let's say, like five years? Yeah, well, uh, I guess evolution is a must because um, music in itself is always moving, art is always moving, culture is always moving, so we just have to move with it. Um, I'm glad to be in this artistic stage right now. We have some new ideas, new concepts coming soon. Stay tuned for that. That's all I will say for now. Nothing else? Nothing. You don't want to give me a little bit more? Mm -mm. I'm standing in the rain because of you. So I'm, you in can, the, I'm in the rain with you right now. You have a hat. And so you can give me a little bit more. No, no, no. 2020? No, not yet, no. Okay, well, we, <laughs> I, I can keep a secret. So we'll keep it together. We'll keep that secret. And, of course, it's all coming at you because we're at Rise right here, right now. Your girl, Cece, it is Bungie Garland. You're going to hit the stage right now. So yep. what can we expect? Of course, you're bringing oh, your yeah. lovely wife, the Vi Queen. And the vibes. And I like how the rain started to fall a little bit right now. And it's all is soca and rain. Yes. That is go together like pilot and plane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A little freestyle. At least I got that. So thank you so much. And of course, we're looking forward to rise right here in Barbados. All part of crop over in Barbados coming at you on One Caribbean Television for Carnival Week. Thank you so much. It's CC once again. We are in Barbados. Crop over. Definitely getting hyped right now. The man of the hour, DJ Puffy, is here. Now, I'm going to sell you out a little bit, okay, Puffy? I remember we used to work together. I remember him rushing after school so he could make his job to be on the radio station here in Barbados. And now you travel the world representing Barbados, DJing, loving music, producing, and just being hyped all over. How's it going? Listen, it, this this is this this response is as you can tell, like I'm I lost for words. I can't even talk right now. Um I I, I don't even know what to say to be honest. Like you said traveling the world. I I'm bringing the world here. You know what I mean? That was my main focus. That was the primary objective of this party to bring the world to Barbados. The last time we threw this party, we brought Trotman's uh, he's from Canada. He came second in the Red Bull 3 Star competition that I would have uh, that I would have won. But Go ahead, say it that you won it. He won it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we are we are like almost best friends. You know what I mean? That was like my spare animal in the competition, and it was crazy that we got the one too. You know what I mean? So it was amazing to to bring him the last time we did this and to showcase his talent to Barbados. People love him. This time. We got a lot of my close friends. I brought it a little closer to home. 
Obviously, Copacabana, this venue, normally we do it at Kensington, which is a cricket stadium. Copacabana, this is where I come to relax and de-stress, eat some food, go to the beach. So like, I want other people that come here, I want my visitors, I want everybody that love Barbados to come to my watering hole and to experience this, you know what I mean? So we brought it closer to home. My immediate friend circle, they're performing tonight. Okay, so of course we're bringing Barbados to the world, we're bringing the world to Barbados, having a great time, all hitting the stage, all getting hyped. It's, it's just, I, one thing that Scratch Master said is that it's, it's not a stush party. We yeah. came to dance, we came to get hyped, we came to have a good time. So that being said, I know you're ready to get hyped. I mean, I've been hyped for a while. As you can tell, it's hot. Barbados is hot yes. right now. My watch is buzzing right now because people are calling me. Yes. So I might need to go. Yes. But one love to everybody, and thank you guys so much. Crop over is love. Crop over is wicked Barbados. We're having a good time here. 2019 and beyond, CC. Thank you. Thank you, puppy. See ya. All right, One Caribbean Television, all part of Carnival Week, and it's getting hyped right about now. You're watching OCTV's Barbados Crop Over Rewind. And much like the island's traditional Calypsonians, Barbados' top soca acts vie for supremacy at the annual Party Monarch competition. Let's check that out. Okay, it's Cece backstage with Ashanya. First time, how was it? It was completely fun. I was full of energy and I just went to have fun. I was confident. Okay, and your song was called Mess. So what is it about? Mess is basically, you're, whenever you're finished with carnival, it's going to be a mess. So you're going to be walking up so bad. Whenever you're done, you're going to feel a mess. <laughs> but you don't look a mess. You look lovely. So I just want to say before we move on to, you had a, you know, there's a little performance, a little skit beforehand. And you had someone on stage. She said, wake up. What are you doing? And who was that? That was my mom. <laughs> mom? Mom, we have to get mom over here. Now, mom, not only was she on stage with you, but I am going to assume that she's a big supporter. So come on in, mom. Yes. How are you? I am fine. Thanks. How are you feeling about your daughter's performance? I am feeling fantastic. My daughter and her girls and the guys, they, they did their best. I, she was in a mess. Pardon? She was not a mess. She did an excellent job. No, she wasn't a mess. The song was a mess, but I think she did really great. Well, you know what? It's so great to see you support your daughter and best of luck. First time, hopefully not the last time. And of course, you know, we're looking forward to what the results and uh, what more you have in store for, for the rest of us. So enjoy your crop over and thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you as well for having me. Okay, I think this is the closest I'm ever going to get to uh, a trophy, a Soka trophy. Of course, King Mikey, congratulations once again. How does it feel coming off the stage being um, the first Soka monarch for Barbados? It's a privilege and a blessing. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely thankful. Um, a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work went into this. We've been working on this song since last year, August. Okay, now coming in last and, and actually being the last performer on the stage, was that an advantage to you or a disadvantage? How did you feel um, being that last one? Being, going last, can, it could go either way. It could be an advantage or a disadvantage. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Um, and this is, and this is a, a prime example. At Pan on the Sand, as soon as, soon as they started, actually, them again, the rain fell. Right, right. right? And, they, and they had to work it in. As soon as I got on stage, I just know the rain fell. And I felt a level of comfort as opposed to panic. And I was able to work, work, work it out. So. Um, I think you worked it out just a little bit, just a little bit. He was able to work it out just a little bit. I got to congratulations to you once again. So come on, our King Mikey. And I look forward to more from you for a crop over right here in Barbados, all coming to you on One Caribbean Television. Show me some Easy. 
festival lovers come to Cropover for excitement and ambiance, but some take the time to explore the island's rich history and famous landmarks. Hi everybody, Joey Stevens, Bob the Parrot and CC. Of course, we're in Barbados. And you know, one of the things I enjoy most about traveling throughout the Caribbean is the history. I mm -hmm. am a history buff. Mm -hmm. And I found a gem for you right here in Barbados. It is the Washington House. Yes, indeed, George Washington House, which you can actually see. We actually, it's open. We were able to come onto the grounds and mm -hmm. check it out. Of course, George Washington came to Barbados, and hence we have George Washington House right here. Yeah, a lot of history here. Apparently at the age of 19, he came down, his ailing brother, was suffering from a yellow fever. That was about 1751. Keep in mind, he was 19 years old. This is, of course, before he became one of the greatest generals in United States history and also the first president mm -hmm. of the United States. But he was here. Matter of fact, this is the only country he ever visited outside the United States. So it's the George Washington House. Fantastic. I love yeah. it. I really do. And it's something you should see if you come to Barbados. Oh, of course. You know, of course, we're here for crop over, however. Yeah. So let's go back to the streets for Kadumet Day, all part of your carnival coverage. Emancipation Day is celebrated across the Caribbean on August 1st. It commemorates the abolition of slavery. Each year, Barbadians take time off for their festive crop over season to pay respect to those who fought to make this day possible. Well, um, this is an annual commemoration of Emancipation Day. Uh, as far as we are concerned, Emancipation Day um, is really one of the greatest achievements of the, of the Caribbean people, of the Barbadian and Caribbean people. Um, we know that slavery was abolished in the British Empire um, on the 1st of August, 1834 or 1838, take your pick. Um, it was abolished because of the unrelenting slave rebellions that took place across the Caribbean, from the Bahamas in the north, um, right down to Guyana, and, and Suriname in the in the south of the of the Caribbean, so it, it is really the first major achievement of our people, of our ancestors, when um, by our collective action, collectively showing that um, there was such irrepressible resistance to the system of slavery, that um, the European powers that be had to take that decision. Um, to, to dismantle the system. Caribbean weatherman Joey Stevens. How are you doing, my friend? Oh, good, my friend. David, it's good to see you. You look great. Well, I'm trying my best, all things considered. You look great as well, and so does Bob the Parrot. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's he put on a few pounds since we've been in quarantine, he's eating a lot, but hey, he's doing well. So, Joey, of course, we are reminiscing on some great carnivals that have gone by. And uh, I know one of your favorite carnivals is Barbados' famous crop over. Let me know what really tugs at your heartstrings when you think about Barbados' crop over. Wow, there's so many good things through the years. I've probably done the crop over uh, carnival more than any other in the Caribbean. Um, I've got a lot of friends down there. Rivalito Simmons is a dear friend of mine who usually works with me running camera and uh, I always enjoy seeing him. Uh, one of the things that always start, there are so many parties in Barbados. I mean, they party every night and these people go to like two or three parties a night. There are so many things going on. Of course, they've got, uh, you know, the contest for the singers and uh, a, a couple of things that have always struck me is first of all, Juve Morning is, is very, very wild in Barbados. It's a younger crowd. They throw a lot of paint and boy, you got to be ready to really <laughs> be on your toes on that one. That is uh, that is a good. I've seen Alice, or um, I've seen Rihanna, excuse me, a couple of times in that parade. She goes down uh, for crop over every once in a while, and uh, she loves that Juve morning. So I've seen her. I, it's just it's just a great feeling. The actual uh, big parade, the last day, uh, is is amazing. The crowd that they get. Uh, the costumes, uh, just the, the vibe is just tremendous. I love crop over. I've always enjoyed going to that. It's always been one of my favorites. Hi, everybody. Joey Stevens along with Bob the Parrot, and we are in Bridgetown in Barbados. It is crop over time, and one of the more popular events is four-day morning. Yeah. 
and all the activity will actually take place overnight, believe it or not. It is right now, right after midnight, and they're just starting to line up and get ready so you can understand what kind of event this is. It will go until tomorrow morning. And believe me when I tell you, there will be literally thousands of people in the street. Now, this tends to be a little younger crowd and uh, actually gets a little bit wild at times because in the old days, they used to throw mud on one another and then when it was all over, got onto the ocean and wash out. Nowadays, well, things have changed. They use paint. <laughs> That's right. Can you imagine? They throw paint and they throw it everywhere. And sometimes I'll tell you, if you're doing a report, you got to stand out of the way. But anyway, things are lining up right now. There will be a number of trucks on the street behind those trucks will be revelers and people that are partying. They won't be decked out in their traditional costumes that they'll be wearing on the big street parade coming up. But uh, again, when you get paint thrown on you, you really don't want to be dressed to the hilt, right? <laughs> but anyway, we're here bright and early in the morning time. And again, this will go on overnight. It's called Dube. It's called Bourdais Morning. It has different names, different places, but that seems to be the most popular. Latoya, tell me what is your role tonight for the morning? My role is I am one of the fly girls for Blue Mint. Okay, so what is this experience for you? How are you enjoying it? This experience is amazing. It is awesome. Fantastic. I've been waiting for this since last year for this. Okay, so do you play a match with Kudu Mint? Right. Yes, I do play a match with Kudu Mint. So what's the difference between jumping then and now? It is cooler. Way cooler. The sun dehydrates you. This is way much cooler. The sun Beginning of the band to the ending of the band, like, that's basically it. <laughs> and how has your experience been so far? Great, but this will be like three to four years that I've been doing Fly Girl, and it's it's been fantastic. After exciting competitions, back-to-back -back fets, and four-day morning, of course, what comes next? You guessed it. It's all about Grand Kadubin Day. Here we are, Kadumit Day, and of course you can see all sorts of characters. One such character that's very popular in Barbadian history and culture is the Mudda Sally. Now we have a Mudda Sally. What's your name? Ursa Farrier. Okay, well let the people know what exactly Mudda Sally represents to our Barbadian culture. Well, it started years ago, and the character was actually played by a man, and it's really to um, pretty much talk about the, the fruitfulness of the ladies. A lot to look forward to, as much as to fall back on. <laughs> so, yeah. I like that fruitfulness of the ladies. Yes, and um, and and fertility mm -hmm. kind of thing. So yes, so this character is being played many many years by men, but in 1975 and coming down, the women actually took over this role because we say, "Cheese on bread, man. These men, <laughs> no, like seriously, they can't outshine us. They no, can't, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Let me bring this thing back." And of course, it's being brought back a lot this year with little Rick's song, Mother Sally. So everyone's learning about Mother Sally. Yes. There's a song about you, so you got to show us the Mother Sally dance, a little bit of the dance, because Mother Sally, there we go, there we go. The bountifulness and the fruitfulness of the ladies. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you so much. Wapova, be part of Grand Kaduman, be a part of Aura, the experience. Dame Lorraine, Trinidad and Tobago, a staple in the Trinidad.
It's Grand Kadumen Day in Barbados. I'm Renee Sion bringing you coverage. I am here with the first band out. It's the Walk Holy Band. Now this band is a Christian band and I'm gonna give you a chance to talk to its members. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so this is the first band out and what interests me the most is that it's, this is a Christian band in Kadumen Day. So tell me a little bit about that. Of course, um, this is um, 17 years that we've been um, coming out at number one. And there is a reason for that. We come out and we bless today. We pray for the other bands. We pray for our country. And we worship God. It's important that, that we understand this is a Christian country. That's what we are told, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So we believe that it's important that even in, in culture that we, that we keep him first. Right? That's why we are out. We are having fun today. But he is first. And that's why we are first. Okay, I know a lot of people might be wondering, how do you actually integrate it? We know usually we hear all the popular soca songs on the road and people dancing. How do you integrate what you do into Kuduma? Oh my goodness, listen we, we, listen, we celebrate all the time. We have our own music. We have just so much, so many artists that we have, right? Um, these ladies, wonderful ladies here, they help to choose the music. This is Kathy Weeks. And Kathy, you want to talk to them about the music that we use on the road, etc.? Yes, I'm very uh, tempo, but definitely all God. So we don't exclude God or put God on the side. He's always up front and center with the music, and the music is up tempo, just like any other um, band. So we don't lose any points on that. In fact, let me say we are the we are. I think we are one of the few bands with actually live music. Yeah, we have uh, live music. It's not just DJ. We have a DJ too, <laughs> but we we also have live music on the road. Yes. So do you want to know about the costume for this yeah. year? <laughs> well, of course I do, because you're not excluded from the beautiful costume. So no. tell me a bit about that. This is heaven meets earth. So yeah. it's all about angels. So we have angels that protect the sea, mm -hmm. that's our blue. Mm -hmm. And we have angels that are on the earth. And we also have our fire angels. So we have all the elements and everybody has wings, so we're flying. And so we're talking about angels that surround the throne of God. And we're talking about how angels, how God sends angels to help us in our everyday life. So there are among us even though we don't see them. Thank you, ladies. Have fun and be safe on the road today. No way, no time, no place better than where I live. Ah, yes, Grand Kaduman Day, the pinnacle of the Barbados crop over experience. And naturally, we've reached the pinnacle of today's episode of Carnival Rewind. So join me again next time as we take another walk down memory lane together and explore some wonderful carnival times gone by. Yours truly, Damien Sogren. See you again soon. I believe it's not